Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect interfaces using Visual Components 4.1. Interfaces allow you to physically and remotely connect components. To get started, let's add three components to the 3D world. I'll go to my eCatalog panel, and under Models by Type, I'll expand Robots, scroll down, click Visual Components, I'll now add a generic articulated robot to the 3D world. Let's extend the reach of the robot. I'll go to my eCatalog panel and expand Robot Positioners and click Visual Components and I'll add a robot floor track to the 3D world. Whenever you want to physically connect components you need to use the PMP command which by default is turned on and you can find it here in the manipulation group. So let's connect the robot to the platform of the track here and you can see the interface of a track is highlighted using this yellow arrow. So I'll select the robot and now drag it towards the track until I see a green arrow. This will point in the direction of an available connection. So if I continue dragging in that direction, eventually the robot snaps to the connection point on the track and now these two components are connected. If you want to disconnect them, you can always drag the robot away and notice it's now disconnected. If you were to drag the robot elsewhere on the track, you can see there's no green arrow, so I can't connect it at any of these locations, but I can connect it here. If you want to test the connection, you can go to the manipulation group, turn on the interact command. This allows you to interact with parts of a component, for example, joints of a robot. And if I move the mouse pointer over the platform of the track, you can see it is interactive. So when I drag, I'm now moving the platform and the robot so I know that these two components are connected. I'll reset. And now let's add some additional axes to the robot. I'll go to my eCatalog panel, expand Workpiece Positioners, click Visual Components, and I'll add this item here called Workpiece Positioner. I'll drag it into the 3D world. There we go. Now, how do we connect these two components? Well, you have to do it remotely. And whenever you want to remotely connect components, you have to use the connect interfaces command, which you can find here on the ribbon in the connect group. You can also directly select a component and from the mini toolbar, click the interfaces command here. Notice that the selected component will display its interfaces and any other component that can connect to the selected interface will be highlighted yellow in the 3D world and show its interface. But you can see the track is now grayed out, so it has no available connection right now to the interface we're using in the robot called Connect Workpiece Positioner. To connect the robot to the positioner, I can click the part here. It's now changed to green, and we see a wire indicating that these two components are now connected. If you want to disconnect them, you can click the wire, and now they're disconnected. Likewise, you can select the positioner again, so now they're connected, and you can click it, and now they're disconnected. Notice that when I was hovering over the positioner, the components were highlighted red that indicates that I'm about to disconnect them. Now you can do all this in the Connect Interfaces task pane, which you can see over here. The component option allows you to select a component in the 3D world that has abstract interfaces or interfaces that support remote connections. Right now I have the robot selected, but you can use the drop-down menu here or the pick command to pick the component in the 3D world so I can click the robot here. The interface option allows you to select an interface in the selected component. So you have these two choices here for the robot. And based on the interface you have selected, you have a list of available connections in the 3D world. So when I hover over this item here, it is indicated in the 3D world. And when I click it, it now turns green and the components are connected. Likewise, I can click the item again to disconnect the interfaces. Now if you want, you can use the nodes or connection editors you see here in the 3D world. So with the Connect Workpiece Positioner interface selected, I can drag this circle to display a wire and notice I get an indication in the 3D world of where I can connect it. So I can either move the wire onto the positioner here or directly onto its interface. I get a green check mark, so that's good. I let go and now the components are connected. If you don't want to see the network map in the 3D world, you can click this option here to hide the wires. You can also go to the Connect Interfaces task pane at the bottom, and you have the option to display the network map. So right now it's turned on, but you can hide it or show it. 
you could also hide or show the wires or the connection lines. So we don't see the wire, and now we do. Finally, you have this option called Show Non-Abstract Interfaces. These are referring to those physical connections. So notice that the robot is connected to the track. And when I turn on the option, you can see we have this robot positioner interface. And when I select it, you can see that this is connected to the interface in the robot floor track, and this is a physical connection. So you can disconnect the components and reconnect them. But whenever you're working with non-abstract interfaces or physical connections, it's always best to use the PMP command. Let me give you an example. So if I was to disconnect them, and let's say that I get crazy, and I want to move the robot over here. And now let's go to our connect interfaces. And I'm still showing those non-abstract interfaces, so I'll select it here, display a wire, and connect it to the track. But notice that this does not make any sense, the robot's over here, whereas the track's over here. So if I was to interact with the platform, you can see you don't want that to happen. So it's always best for a physical connection to use the PMP command to connect the parts physically. Let's now test the connection between the robot and the external axes we have here in the positioner. I'll go to my program tab, and I'll use the jog command to select the robot. And if we go to the jog panel, you can see that the track and positioner are connected and they're listed as external joints. So we have external joint 1 and 2 from the positioner and external joint along the x-axis from the floor track. So if I interact with these, the robot's moving along the track and the positioner is moving. Oh -ho. We can also teach this as a motion statement. So let's move the robot down here. Go to our program editor panel and I'll add a point-to-point -point motion statement. And if I select the motion statement and go to the statement properties panel, you can see that whenever you have connected axes to the robot, they are listed here. So we have E1, E2, E3, and here are the joint values. So if we reset and run the simulation, you can see, ho oh, oh, look at that magic. So we are able to verify that the robot is connected to the track and the positioner, and those joint values are being inherited or assigned to motion statements. Okay, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, have a wonderful day.